In this video, I will cover the quickest and most profitable daily tasks to easily maintain your bond. Let's start with claiming battle staves in Varok. For this, you will need to have completed one of the Varok diaries. Zap will sell you a specific amount of battle staves at 7k GP each, depending on the tier of diary you have completed. On screen, you can see the profit per tier for the current margin. Next up, let's use the minigames teleport to Nightmare Zone. At the reward shop, you are able to buy 15 herb boxes per day. They cost 9500 reward points each, or 140.5k points in total. You can immediately bang the herbs that are inside. On average, 15 herb boxes will make you a total profit of 145k. If you don't have enough points, I would suggest you to watch my video on efficiently AFKing in Nightmare Zone. A link should have appeared right now. Now we're going for a birdhouse run. For this, I'm teleporting myself with a dig site pendant to Fossil Island. I use the mushroom transport system to Verdant Valley and Mushroom Meadow. I empty the four previous birdhouses and build four new ones. I fill each one up with 10 Asgarnian seeds. Other cheap hop seeds are possible as well. Just check the price for these or leave in a bigger offer at DG so you don't run out of seeds. Each birdhouse grants you a decent amount of 100 XP and they can be replaced every 50 minutes. For this video, I'm only doing this once. On screen, you can see the amount of bird nests that you can expect per run. If you're lucky, you might get some very valuable seeds like magic seeds or dragon fruit tree seeds. Those are worth over 100k each. Next up is a very common money maker, doing a herb run. There's nine different herb patches around Gilenor. Each herb takes four times 20 minutes to grow, which means you can do a herb run every 80 minutes. The most profitable seeds are Renar, Snapdragon and Torsal seeds. You can expect around 15 to 30k profit per patch if you're using Ultra Compost and Magic Secutors. Check the price of the seeds and herbs in advance. I'm giving you more information on this in a future video. If it's available, you should see a link appearing right now. And then lastly, at the farming guild you can complete farming contracts for seed packs. The average value per contract is shown on screen. You can even complete multiple contracts in just minutes if you have the right seeds planted already. I'm explaining the best setup in a future video. If it's available, you should see the link appearing right now. To conclude, during these dailies I made 160k buying battle staves, 145k buying herb boxes, and at least 45k doing a birdhouse run, not including the seeds. I also made 200k doing a herb run with ultra composed magic secutors and a farming cape using Renar seeds on 8 different herb patches and also 70k for completing one hard farming contract. That is 620k GP in total for like 10 minutes work or 4.3 million GP in one week or 8.6 million GP in two weeks. Personally, I prefer to do the first three dailies as they are done within two minutes. How much are you able to make? That's it for the video. If you would like to participate in this video's giveaway, follow the steps on screen and the winner will be announced at the end of the next video.